Hey guys, it's Amber. Um, don't get too excited. I don't have a surgery date yet. Um, but I have an update on my surgery pre-op. Um, I went to the psychiatrist, and as you all know, I was diagnosed bipolar. Not a big shock. Um, but she had asked me about adding a prescription to what I'm already on in addition to the Selexa that I'm on. Um, she... What? Okay, you gotta be quiet, okay? This is Aaliyah, this is my daughter. Um, so they put me on... She asked me about the Lamictal if I wanted to be on it and my sister was on it and it worked amazing for her so I did tell the psychiatrist I said I'm afraid that this is gonna make my surgery date um, push back a little bit more and she said no it shouldn't because um, it's in addition to the medication that I'm already on it's not changing medications it's just adding it to it so she put me on the Lamictal and um, I called, I had faxed over to my surgeon's office the letter that she wrote me and um, I called a couple days later. They finally got back to me and said that I have to be on the Lamictal for eight weeks before I'm cleared for surgery. Go figure, right? Um, I should have known it was going to happen. <laughs> Every time I think something's going right, I get another roadblock. But, oh well, I'm not that mad about it. So, obviously, my pills are working. Um, I do feel a whole lot better. My mood overall is better. Um, I'm just happier, I guess. So, it's working. Um, let's see. I... What else do I have to talk about? I made some notes. I went on a little drinking binge. I was drinking a couple nights a week for a couple weeks. And I think I was just really stressed out. Um, this was pre <laughs> Um Whoa. And I went off my diet for a little while. But I'm getting back on track. I'm not drinking anymore or doing anything I'm not supposed to do. I'm getting my diet back on track. Um, I'm feeling better. It's just hard um, being a single mom with a full-time job and a two-year-old to get everything done in order and just keep up with it pretty much. Um, I do want to shout out to Angela because she was saying yeah. about her falling off the wagon with her diet. Um, I think we all do it, Angela, really. We all do it at one time or another pre-op because it's almost almost like you're losing your best friend. You can't, you're not going to be able to eat the things you used to be able to eat. You're not going to be able to go sit down at a restaurant with all your friends and, you know, order something and be able to, you know eat more than a couple bites of it. You're not going to be able to do any of that. So I just wanted to comment on that um, because we do all fall off the wagon at one point or another, I'm sure, pre-op. Aaliyah, you're going to hit me in the face. Be easy. Um, and that's about it. I don't know that I have anything else to say. I'm just checking my notes yeah. now. Um... <laughs> So, last time I said that that would be my last <laughs> video before my surgery date. Now it's looking like surgery's not going to be until at least July. So, a few more months. Hey, what's a few more months? Um, July actually is um, the month of 2010 when myself and my friend Michelle went to the seminar um, it was July 27th of 2010 so this has been by that time it will be almost a year-long process and a hell of a fight 
Um, I have been, it's just been a battle back and forth. And, um, so hopefully, hopefully soon, um, oh, I meet with the psychologist at my surgeon's office May 25th, so I won't know anything until then. Um, probably until the 1st of June, I won't know anything. But even after that, I have six weeks liquid diet to do. So that will push my surgery date back another six weeks on top of this eight weeks. Nothing I can do about it. It's all right, though. Um, I'm not going to say that this is going to be my last video before um, surgery because I'm sure it's not going to be. Um, like I said, it's going to be a couple more months before surgery, so... But I will keep you guys updated and um, let you guys know where I'm at. So I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.